Hey guys, LPS Baja here, back today with you for another unboxing video. Now if you haven't watched my last video where I unboxed this cutie, go watch that now. Um, anyway, so in the last video I said I was going to start reviewing fake LPS. And I want to do them one video per time and review the pet in full. Um, it's not positive that I have the real version of this little pet shop. But I can review it off of what I have seen, and I know this pet is fake, so let's just open up the package and see what we got. Alright, so here's the package. Um, I have tore off all the address, and I did take a little pixie inside just to make sure what it is, so I do know what it is. Let's just open it up and pull out the pet. Alright, here comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in the package. There isn't the moment of truth. Dun 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 dun! Okay, so it is the littlest pet shop number 67, uh, which is a collie dog. I'm gonna open that up right now. Wow, they really are getting better and better at making fakes. So I paid about two bucks for this pet in an eBay auction that I won, and regularly on eBay this pet goes for about 60 bucks, which is a, a fair price considering it is such an old pet, it is number 67, and it should have a red magnet, which is where they messed up with this pet. Um, its head is very stiff, that's another indication that it's fake, but let me just show you. Its peg is clear, which is not a true way to be able to tell if this these are fake or real little pet shops anymore because they are getting better and better. And I hear they are incorporating pink magnets now. Oh, they really are trying their best, which is cool. Um, but it's... I don't know. They shouldn't be making the fakes. It's, it's stealing away cash from Hasbro and people trying to sell real little pet shops, but on the other hand, these are great pets for little girls that want the pet but aren't exactly professional collectors per se. Now this one is a really good fake. Uh, they did mess up the eye, which clearly shows it was painted and not printed like they are in the Hasbro factory. Um, yeah. You can tell the magnet was shoved in there, because on the real pets, it's a lot cleaner. This pet is from 2007, uh, and it should, in fact, be a red magnet pet, because it's number 67. But yeah, it's really a really good fake. Like, if I were recording with this, and like if I touched up the eye, nobody would know that this was a fake pet because that's how good it is. I mean you'll find some pets that are like really bad fakes. Let me just let me just show you a picture. Like yeah that's obviously fake. When I was little this actually was one of my dream pets and I never did have uh, collie number 67 but or pet number 67 which is a collie but this fake one will suffice for now. I am, of course, looking for the original, but it's always good just to have this. So here's some photos of Collie number 67. Um, here is it new in box. It looks like it came in a little race car with a little race hat. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Maybe it's a sticker. Very cute. Yep, it's a little racing boy. And that bandana is just adorable. <laughs> anyway, so here it is authentic. You can see they're very scuffed up. And here's a scuffed up one that is very bad. You can buy for $21.99. But yeah, they go for quite a bit of money. But that's understandable. I mean, look at it. Yeah, see, it should have a red magnet. It should, but it doesn't. Because it is a fake. Uh, I really wish, like, if they were going to fake it, they could have done, like, 
Oh, they did do that. They did put the yellow because there is a bit of yellow in the other. And as you can see, mine has it too. So yeah, this is like a phenomenal job. They are seriously getting better and better with these fakes. But yeah, its head's really stiff. You can tell it's a fake because it doesn't want to bobble for me. Um, yeah. It can just bobble some more. But, all in all, this is a really good fake. Like, really good. And I'm actually happy with it, and I am okay with paying two bucks for it because it was a good little test. I mean, if you're not really a huge LPS collector, I can see why you would want to collect these. Like, it's okay to collect fakes, but if you're an LPS collector, these are probably a double sin because they're all you see on eBay. You can't even tell if they're real or fake anymore. <laughs> and they're getting better and better at doing that. But I'm here to review ones I know that are fake. And you can know they're fake too if they are dirt cheap. Like, two bucks? Come on. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. And if you want to see more, like and comment below what you want to see next. And drop a subscribe. I really appreciate it and it means a ton to me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you will all tune in next time. Bye!